Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make reusable stencils for wood burning from Iconart. Now I wanted to make some nautical picture frames uh, with a Bay Rats theme. And I wanted to experiment with these stencils, but I did it with art that had very fine lines. Uh, this would be the most difficult type of stencil or wood burning, I think, to do. I got a kit from Iconart. Um, and you can find these on iconartstencil.com. And their, their product is really kind of unique and I, I find it fascinating. It comes with a variety of different films for um, use with either um, a fabric or a hard material like wood or steel or glass. And look at the detail that you can get. This is the wood burning. And for the wood burning, I used a torch paste. But let's start with the art. The art has to be a transparency, so you can make your own if you have a graphic art program or you can import SVGs or PNG art. Print out a sample on, a, on your printer on paper uh, before you go and, and waste any of the clear transparency. I put an X on, on the piece of printer paper so I knew which side I was printing on. Uh, when you go to put the clear transparency from my cone art in there, you need to know uh, which side is going to be up. The tacky side you wet your finger a little bit, whichever side is tacky is what has to get printed on. So once the art is sized correctly, you print it out. Your printer should be set on the darkest settings. Nice, clear, uh, clean, crisp black art. The next step is to transfer that, transfers, uh, that transparency art onto the film or the stencil film. So in this case, I'm going to use the, the blue stencil film because I'm going to be using it on a, a smooth surface, wood. I'm going to lay my artwork over it and then a clear transparency over that. And I'm going to put it underneath the UV light which was provided in the kit. Because I used a, um, an inkjet printer, I exposed it for a total of 30 seconds. I think the laser, uh, laser printer, I think you exposed for 35 seconds. You don't want to expose this for, for longer than they tell you to in the instructions. Um, and I made this mistake. Don't do it by a, you know, a sunny window. You want to do it in kind of a dark area for better exposure. Then take that film and put it in warm water uh, for a minute and a half or so. And you'll see that that design will start to show. But in order for this to, to be a stencil, you have to remove uh, the inside of the, of the design, each line. You have to do this under um, a jet of water. So you can attach the art to the plastic clipboard provided and using a spray nozzle, you just spray it for up to two minutes until uh, all of the artwork become, or the inside lines all become clear or transparent. Um, if, if it doesn't work right away, it's probably a couple of different things. You know, your, your spray nozzle could not be spraying hard enough. Uh, it's important to spray at an angle rather than flat. In either case, dry out the film completely afterwards for an hour and then put it back under that UV light for a couple of minutes. That makes the film apparently very durable. What's really neat about these, transparent, these stencils is that they actually stick. One side is a little tacky. So you can just, you can apply it to whatever you're going to in this case, um, wood burn, and it will stick down. That's important because when you're squeegeeing on uh, the torch paste, uh, theoretically, none of that torch paste is going to get squeezed underneath the stencil, you know, and ruin your piece. And if you look close, I've used a little bit of blue painter's tape just to give me a little bit of a border uh, so that I don't get any of that torch paste onto uh, any of the additional exposed wood from the frame. So I'm just going to use a little squeegee. And it's my first time using this, so I didn't know how much I had to, you know, to apply. You really don't have to apply much. You just need a, a coating. And I was able to do, you know, a half dozen frames in, in no time at all. Uh, when you're done squeegeeing it on one frame, you just lift up the film and move it onto the other frame. It sticks right back down again. And again, this is an experiment. I have... I have quite a few plans for these stencils uh, in the future. I have quite a few projects in mind. Um, this one, if it could do this, it could do anything else that I want because of the fine lines and, and the detail uh, in this artwork. Now, when you lift the stencil, you're really not going to see much. There's you know, a little bit of, of yellow, 
uh, from the torch paste, you, if you looked real close, you could see the design, uh, but it's really going to show itself uh, when it gets darker after you heat it. And you're going to heat it with a heat gun. Now, I got a heat gun down at the local Harbor Freight for about 20 bucks. Uh, I've had that for years. It, it did the trick really nicely. This is one of the vertical frames. Now, the vertical frames I got on Amazon, I got a pack of them. They were a few dollars a piece. Um, the horizontal frames I actually found down at Michael's Art Supply, and they were less than $2 a piece. The, the wood burning and the stencil worked fine on both of them. Now, after the wood burning, um, I did uh, stain uh, these frames with a, with a light wood stain. And then I found that the wood stain kind of covered up the wood burning a little bit, like I hadn't burned them dark enough. Uh, so I do, went back to the uh, heat gun and I, I touched them up a little bit. I went back over with the heat gun and darkened up each area. And the end result, you'll see in a minute, came out really nice. So I'm just going to remove the stencils now. All of the frames are now ready for, for the heat gun. And those stencils, I'm just going to rinse them off in the sink, get rid of all of the torch paste, um, hang them to dry, and then I'll store them in a dark area. So, you know, six months from now, if I want to make more of these frames, I can do so very easily. So this is the heat gun. And you can see fairly quickly, as the image darkens, it really appears nicely. I'll give you a closer look in a minute. These are the horizontal frames. The other mistake that I made uh, on the on the vertical frames, they have a plexiglass uh, covering for the picture. Um, and I was so excited to see how the burning would work, um, I actually melted uh, that plexiglass, so I had to replace those. So don't make the same stupid mistakes I did. This is the finished product. These have been stained and redarkened with the heat gun. I was very impressed with not only the Iconart um, reusable stencils, uh, but also with the torch paste. I had never done this before. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, by all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com, um, and you can expect quite a few additional uh, videos uh, using the Iconart stencils. Thank you very much for watching.